can't hear that switch, but you can't hear them niggas scream. All my hoes do strongs, nigga. All my hoes do besties welcome back to our channel so happy saturday for me i'm not sure what day you guys are watching this but hopefully whenever you are watching it you're having a great day so i did want to come and like share some things with you guys um so yeah welcome to the vlog welcome to my channel my name is danny i do all type of bookish things over here so welcome thank y'all for coming get comfortable because Y'all know my vlogs are literally usually 30 minutes or longer, but welcome to the channel. So, I did want to start this video off with an unboxing. So, of course, I opened it and I received a package from Lisa. So, thank you so much, Lisa. She did reach out to me prior and ask me if I would be interested in her sending me a book. And I said, yes, y'all know I love a good package. I love a good book. I love a good thriller. So, she sent me over a book. So I do want to open it. I haven't opened it all the way, but I did go ahead and cut it. So shout out to Lisa. She sent me The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pickenham. I think I have a book by them on my shelf. Um, but yeah, this is what she sent me, The Wife Between Us, which is so, 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 so nice. But yeah, this is the book that she um, sent me. So as you guys can see, <laughs> I'm drinking... I'm drinking Cafe Bustello now. Drinking it's instant Cafe Bustello. I love it. So she sent me some of these. She also sent me over the cutest bookmark. And it says book lover. Can y'all see that? And it's like a Game of Thrones bookmark. That is so cute. Thank you, Lisa. This one says audiobook fan. Or queer. Period. I just wanted to come say hey welcome y'all to a new vlog and let's get into it all right guys and also i wanted to share what i'm currently reading y'all are gonna gag children of blood and bone i am trying to read this because if you saw my previous video while i was shouting out a whole bunch of black booktubers which y'all should be watching um kayla's bookish vibe she said this is one of her favorite favorite books and like i told y'all in that video she's a fantasy girl so if she says this book is good then i think i'm gonna like it i'm actually on chapter two can y'all believe it and i am very much intrigued i'm still trying to learn like the magic system i keep having to flip to the front to look at the map but that's what's fun about fantasy like i'm very excited to keep reading this um i'm still trying to learn like who all the people are and what's happening but um i did also of course download it on my um kindles so it'll be on my kindles to like easily take it with me but yeah if you have read children and blood children of blood and bone by tony adeyemi let me know if you liked it because if you know me you know i'm not a fantasy girl but i'm gonna give it a go and then if i come back and i'm not reading this i'm reading a thriller mind your business but if you've been here long enough then you know i'm a mood reader and thrillers and horror is just gonna have my heart but we're gonna try to do something different because y'all know my experience with blood at the root so let's see if this is, you know, better, a funner time. So yeah, let's get to reading and I will see you guys in my next clip. Okay, lighting. All right, y'all. So I wanted to come back really quickly because me and my man, we're about to go to like this um, Juneteenth food festival, which I'm really excited about because I am starving. Your girl is ready to eat. So we're about to go out there and you know walk around do a little shopping get some food but before i do i wanted to update y'all on what i'm reading and i know some of y'all probably was like girl we knew you wasn't gonna keep reading that fantasy book but in my defense i just read freedom mcfadden's um the housemaid is watching and although i didn't hate the book i did not love the book and i'm ready for like some serial killer you know murder type of content so of course i hit my girl up kim because y'all know i love to um buddy read with her so i hit her up and i was like girl are you ready to start our next book because we read unsub which i'll put right here we read unsub by meg gardner 
and we both loved it. I think we both might have gave it four or five stars. And I was like, girl, are you ready to get back into this series? Because it's three books, and I'll put them here on the screen. It's three books. This is not a new book. This is not a new author. This is a seasoned author, a seasoned vet. And like I said, I try to read popular books, but I read all type of books. I read old books, popular books. Anyway, I hit her up, and I was like, sis, are you ready to start the next book? Because I need, like, a serial killer. I was like, I need, like, a serial killer vibe in my life. And she was like, I'm ready. So, with that being said, I paused on, um, <sighs> Children of Blood and Bone. I was enjoying it. I was intrigued. But I don't know. Y'all let me know something about fantasy and maps and learning magic systems and different people and tribes. Like, that's a lot for me. So, I have to take it slow. Anyway, we are reading Into the Black Nowhere by Meg Gardner. This is the second book in the Unsub series, as you see, an Unsub novel. So, well, I'm actually like three chapters in, but I wanted to update y'all because I'm probably not going to read anymore tonight. Um, well, to, right now, I'm about to leave my trusty Kindle behind. I always bring it with me. But I think I'm going to leave it behind because I don't see myself reading at the food truck festival. I'm going to spend this time with my man, my man, my man. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm reading. I switched gears totally. I did not DNF um, the fantasy book. I just soft DNF'd it. I'll probably come back to it in July, but I don't know. But anyway, I'm wearing what I wore in a previous video. If y'all have been watching, I wore this um, same thing in the uh, Black Booktubers videos because I filmed it this morning. But anyway, my arm hurts, so I'll, I'll bring y'all a little bit to the festival and see what we can see for Juneteenth. All right, y'all, so I'm back at Dollar Tree and I have been waiting to see these again because I wanted to do a project with these. So I'm gonna grab all three. So like I be telling y'all, come to Dollar Tree. This is a super popular book. This is an amazing author and I've been looking for it because the first time I saw it at a different Dollar Tree, I didn't get it and I was like, I should have got more of them. So um, Take It Back by Kia Abdullah. Um, this Dollar Tree also has A Pale Light in the Black. They got different books. Not a lot, but they got some. The Elimination Thread by Michael Lawrence. It's a thriller. We love a good thriller. Um, looks like they got some self-help books, some Christmas books. Let's see what else they got. I've seen that before. I'm gonna get these three. Yay! Very excited about these. Okay, so I'm back, y'all, and I went to Dollar Tree and I was looking around, looking around, looking around. I was like, let me just go look by the books. Every single time, and I'm gonna stop telling y'all this. Every single time I step foot in a Dollar Tree, I make my way over to the books. And I found three. Take It Backs by Kia Abdullah. And I have not read this book, so it is not a favorite book of mine, but it is a popular book. It's a black author, and I wanted to go ahead and purchase them in support. So I got three Take It Backs by Kia Abdullah. Y'all know I bought myself one, and I wanted to get another one. And I was like, should I get them? And I didn't get them because I was like, I don't need them. But now I have um, this idea that I want to do, that I want to recreate, that I saw a mutual do. Also, one of my Instagram friends wanted me to ship her one of these because she couldn't find it. So I may message her to see if she has found it. But yeah, always, always, always go look at your books. Y'all saw in the previous clip that my Dollar Tree did have, you know, some books or whatever. Nothing crazy, but I found three of those, which is absolutely amazing. So I did get some other things from Dollar Tree that are in the back. I mean, from Target that are in the back seat, kind of like for my work week. Um, because this work week is going to be very, very, very tough on me. Um, 
have new people starting i'm training and it's just going to be a long strenuous work week so i want to make sure i have like enough snacks enough food you know enough fuel so i also did get like some energy drinks from dollar tree because i'm an energy drink girl like i prefer coffee but some days i do want an energy drink i will drink an energy drink i don't have nothing against energy drinks i know a lot of people got different you know views on it or whatever but me personally i love a good energy drink so i did that um but yeah i'm just running my errands now i won't be out long because me and my boyfriend we want to go to our pool and just hang out and read and relax so i'm trying to get all my errands done so that i'll be free to just like relax um we have some chicken marinating um i'm about to run an aldi and grab like some fruit and some like little snacks and stuff so that'll be cool i am still reading um into the black nowhere by meg Gardner. It's getting good. I'm like, I'm not far in though. I'm like, let's see, 8% in. Like I haven't been able to like really sit down and read. I plan to do that at the pool and this evening. Um, and I plan to read this. And after I read this, then it should be time for Middle of the Night by Riley Sager, which y'all know is one of my most anticipated reads of the year. And I'm excited about it. So it comes out, what's today? Sunday, Tuesday, comes out on Tuesday, which I'm very excited about. So I think right now I'm gonna go ahead running Aldi. I only plan to spend like $20, $30 in Aldi because I want to rack up on, you know, things we need um, for myself and for my boyfriend because we are going back to work. It is a work week. So let me find a park, we're running Aldi. And then I will see you guys probably at the pool um, when I'm reading. People just drive, like, I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> see y'all later. Right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Still with the dogs that I grew beside. All the niggas around me, right at it, guys. Gotta watch the time, cause it's my right by. I'm outside in the AMG, right outside, PT, two turn baby girl, you know me. Hello my bookish besties. So y'all, it is Monday, and today has been crazy. So, like I was telling y'all, um, and like one of our previous clips, our videos, I was like, this week is gonna be crazy at work because we got new people starting. Long story short, the new people starting did not come in. So yeah, just know it's been a crazy day and I have not been able to read, but I am on a little quick lunch break. I don't have long today. I typically have an hour, but since how nobody came in, I don't have that long today. But I do wanna keep reading Into the Black Nowhere. I am enjoying this book. I did grab me a little Diet Coke out of the office and then I got a little snack. These are the spicy barbecue onion rings or Funyuns from um, Circle K. I just put me some in a little bag. I like these because you can eat 27 of them for like 100 calories. Anyway, y'all. <sighs> This job finna wear me down. But, so I'm finna read a little bit of that. I'm finna look over this. This is a thing I got from the library yesterday. It said, Adventure begins at your library. And apparently, this is like a adult summer reading thing. Adult summer reading. And it has just a lot of events on here for adults who like to read. Now, that's tea. So, I'm going to look over that and see if anything is interesting. And then I'm also trying to see about Riley Sager's Middle of the Night because at this point, it comes out tomorrow. And I'm gagging. So. I'm 18% into this and it's so good. And I think I told y'all about this. <clears throat> it's about a woman her name is caitlin and she is with the fbi 
and we met her in the first book unsub that kim and i read together and this is the second book and it's basically about her following serial killers trying to catch them and i'm here for it i'm 18 percent in so i'll finish this before i start middle of the night by riley sager i don't know because after this i'm probably going to be reading pretty gross with um my instagram friends so middle of the night by riley sager actually might be bumped into july after leather and lark we'll see unless i listen to pretty girls on audio because i do have two audible credits anyway just i'm gonna touch bases let y'all know today been crazy i'm gonna read and then i will catch back up with y'all a little bit later hello book besties happy tuesday so y'all i am still reading um my book by meg gardner um into the black nowhere so i'm still reading this i'm about 50 something percent done i'm liking it it's really good but i knew that i liked her because when i read unsub with kim i was like really feeling it so i'm really feeling it but today is tuesday the 18th and y'all i'm really really excited because um middle of the night by riley sager did come out and i think that i am gonna get it I don't know because it's hard cover y'all know i don't really care for hard covers like i like all books i like hard covers but paperbacks are just more comfortable but i know if i try to wait on a paperback that's going to be a while i did have an audible credit so i did use my audible credit on the book i just haven't pressed play yet um freaking marker from work but i just haven't pressed play yet because i got a lot going on so shout out to riley sager y'all know he's an out about author for me i love most of his books um so i will be getting to that at some point soon i just don't know if it's gonna be this month or like the beginning of next month we'll just see if i can like squeeze it in there i might just listen to it and if so i definitely can squeeze it in there but i kind of wanted to 
um, read it physically. So we will just see how that goes. Um, so yeah, I will be finishing Into the Black Nowhere very soon, probably tomorrow or Thursday, um, maybe even today. We'll just see how far I get along. Then I am still supposed to be reading Pretty Gruz by Karen Slaughter with my friend from Instagram. We were supposed to start that on the 21st. So I don't know if that's still a thing. If that's still a thing, then after I finish this, I'll read Pretty Girls with her and then that'll probably take me through the month. I might try to squeeze in an audio book. We'll just see. Like I always say, I am in no big, huge rush to read anything. That is one of my most anticipated reads, and that's just that. I was watching um, Tony from Wild Heart, and she was just going on a little tangent about how it is to be like a content creator, a YouTuber, or whatever, and she was feeling kind of like pressured to like buy things and buy books and buy this and buy that in order to like keep her channel going. Um, so y'all let me know, do y'all watch YouTubers to see like, like booktubers to see like the books they buy do y'all watch booktubers for just like massive hauls and that's why i really love this curated community that i've built because from the very beginning i already let y'all know that i don't do a whole bunch of huge hauls and i buy books you know sparingly maybe two here two there um i thrift idolatry i goodwill and i think that that makes me kind of different as well like over here on my channel i set the bar at what it was gonna be from the beginning because i know there are other people like me and even myself y'all and i don't know why i'm going on a rant i think her little tangent um inspired me to just speak out on it because i know that it's a big deal and i've spoke out on this before and i think that's why a lot of you guys are you know attracted to my channel because i'm just like you um like i said if i get a whole bunch of books for my birthday which i'm hoping i do then of course i'll do a haul and shout everybody out my wish list is always down below but a lot of us can't just go out and buy 50 books or go get our dream bookcases just like that. And I think just because we do YouTube and we want to talk about our love for books and stories and authors that we shouldn't be scrutinized or feel like we need to do that. And that's how she was saying she was feeling. And I'm glad I don't feel like that on this side of YouTube. Y'all are very welcoming. Y'all love what I do and I love y'all for that. But y'all let me know like, is that something that y'all go to YouTube to see? Like, do y'all go to YouTube to see like book hauls and unhauls and um, bookcase and organization? Like, is that what y'all go to? I like to watch it all. I like to watch all those kinds of videos. So I'm not saying anything's wrong with it. Like I enjoy those videos, but I just wanted to talk. I thought that that was a good topic. So I wanted to put my two cents in. But other than that, y'all, I'm about to head back into work and finish out my day. I told y'all this week is extremely long for me because I'm like trying to train and welcome new people. And it's just a lot. I have to work later than I typically would for a little while. So I'm a little bit stressed, but my books are getting me through it. Um, I also need to edit my next YouTube video, which I will start doing at some point, probably towards the end of the day while I'm at work. Shout out to all y'all for showing me so much love on my last video. I'll put it right here. Shout out to all of those YouTubers. Hopefully you guys want to check them out because those are YouTubers that I often get on YouTube to look for i will be doing a part two so y'all let me know who are some of y'all favorite bookish creators because i can always watch more creators so y'all let me know who y'all are watching because yeah i definitely want to do a part two of that video and make that kind of like something that i do on my channel anyway when you guys are seeing this the video it is probably friday so happy friday hopefully you guys are having a good day hopefully y'all had a good week and hopefully y'all will have a good weekend i don't know if i'm ending this vlog here or not we shall see i don't want it to be too long um so yeah we'll just see but yeah y'all let me know what are some of y'all like most anticipated reads uh, books that are coming out or came out like were y'all waiting on the housemaid uh is watching or middle of the night my right of Sega like me let me know let's talk in the comments and yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here when y'all see me next i'll be done with this and we'll probably be reading pretty girls and i know a lot of y'all are excited for me to read pretty girls 
I am as well because I have never read a Karen Slaughter book and I'm excited to get into her books and probably tap into her backlist. So with that being said, love y'all real bad and I will see y'all in my next bookish video.